Hello and welcome to Newsbreak, I'm your host Alex Snyder. Coming up, demons duel their way to win in Mount Pleasant, but first, today's top stories. Back-to-back snowstorms and record low temperatures hit southeast Iowa, causing road clearance challenges and hazardous conditions. Washington County faced difficulties in plowing gravel roads, and the Iowa Department of Transportation issued not advised travel alerts for eastern Iowa. In Washington, plows got stuck during the blizzard, slowing down the clearing process. Residents were urged to move vehicles off streets during plowing. Similar issues occurred in Henry County, with crews facing slow progress and challenging conditions. The National Weather Service issued a wind chill warning for the region. Fairfield experienced difficult plowing conditions, with the city advising residents to clear streets for plows. Waste management adjusted trash pickup schedules due to weather disruptions. Overall, Southeast Iowa coped with severe weather, emphasizing safety measures and urging caution. The Enhanced Iowa Board granted nearly $1.8 million in community attraction and fu tourism funds, allocating $4,000 to the YMC of Washington counties for the marketing of the Keywash Trail Half Marathon. The funds aim to attract new runners from across outside Iowa and Illinois, focusing on states not previously involved. The Iowa Economic Development Authority awards these grants to enhance the state's quality of life through recreational, cultural, educational, or entertainment facilities. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll take a look at your weather. At the Capper Auto Group, we put our customers' needs first and understand that everyone is as different as the vehicle they select. We offer new Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram vehicles in a friendly environment that puts you in the driver's seat. When it comes to service, we maintain factory trained technicians and competitive pricing. The Capper Auto Group still believes that service after the sale provides the best customer experience. Come see the Capper experience for yourself. You know, it's not a question of what all you have and so on with your life. It's who is in your life and how much you care for them and how much they care for you. And Tammy definitely cares. Federation Bank is a locally owned bank providing award-winning customer service. We believe that we are more than just a federation of banks, but a federation of communities serving Brighton, Richland, Wellman, and Washington, Iowa. Federation Bank's highly skilled staff is here to make sure you are able to accomplish your personal and professional goals, whatever they may be. Federation Bank, your family bank. I met Tammy about 20 years ago with, when her daughter was in Special Olympics and I was coaching, told me that she was into doing senior benefits. We became even closer friends. She cares about everybody, especially the seniors, so call her. Hello and welcome back to Newsbreak. Coming up your five-day forecast, but first, obituaries. Rosemary May Chalupa of Kelowna passed away on January 10th at the age of 99. Funeral services have been set for 2 p.m. January 17th at the Betty Funeral Home in Washington. Teresa Lynn Kinner of Brighton passed away on January 9th at the age of 57. Memorial services will be held at 11 a.m. January 23rd at the First Church of God in Brighton. Sandra Sue Lundquist of Burlington passed away on January 10th at the age of 75. The family will receive friends from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m. January 21st at Prague Funeral Home. Andrea Faye Williams of Fairfield passed away on January 11th at the age of 77. A celebration of life will be at 6 p.m. January 17th at Benner Funeral Home in Fairfield. That was your obituaries. Now it's time for your five-day forecast. Starting the week, today is expected to be partly cloudy skies with temperatures ranging from negative 2 to negative 13 degrees. On Tuesday, the forecast indicates mostly sunny skies with temperatures ranging from 3 to negative 3 degrees. Midweek, Wednesday is forecast to be partly cloudy with a high of 13. Thursday comes with a slight chance of snow with a high of 9 degrees. Wrapping up the forecast, Friday is expected to be mostly sunny with temperatures ranging from 4 to negative 6 degrees. We're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at your sports. In the heart of rural Iowa, where community matters most, the connections we make are made to last. Meet KCTC, your hometown internet, phone, and TV provider. At KCTC, we're not just about technology, we're about people. Our dedicated team are your neighbors, committed to bringing you top-tier services right where you live. 
We believe in giving back to the community that raised us. Experience the power of a real connection with KCTC. Join us in building a stronger, more connected Southeast Iowa. Welcome back to Newsbreak. I'm your host, Alex Snyder. It is now time for your sports. In the Southeast Conference wrestling duel, Washington emerged victorious against Mount Pleasant with a final score of 45 to 30. Washington began strongly with Nate Edmonds securing a pin at 113, followed by wins in other weight classes. Mount Pleasant's Jefferson's Ramirez Alvalos notched a victory at 138, but Washington maintained its lead with additional wins. The Panthers made a late push with victories from Tucker French, Peyton Walker, Juan Lopez, and Landon Becker, but Washington had already scored a dual win. That is your news to Southeast Iowa. I've been your host, Alex Snyder. This has been your news break, and I will see you next time.